Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Art Series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix iTunes not opening on Windows. But before we start, hurry up and check out these off riches on this video. So let's get started. So if you're having problems with iTunes here and you can't use it, so for example, you've already opened up the app, but again, it's not showing in your PC. Well, there is one thing that we need to know. Now, typically, if it, this is happening to you, it means that the app itself or iTunes is stuck on boot mode so meaning it's running the background but then again if you double click on itunes or open it up again open it up again it's not going to open up because again it's stuck on a very specific process now to make sure that itunes is not running you want to go open up your task manager now you could go and just press Control, shift escape on your keyboard to open up task manager and in here you want to go and look for itunes now go and just scroll down over here until you see itunes and if you do see itunes you want to go ahead and just right click on itunes and basically click on end task and that would basically end the task for itunes now typically at the top bottom right as well you can go and just click on it and look for any itunes running in the background right click on it and again you want to go and just basically end or exit or end the app on your PC. Now, once you have this ended, you can go and just open up the app again and see if that solves the issue. Now, if this doesn't solve your issue, you may want to try resetting the app. So to do that, you want to go ahead and click on search. Just type in the following, it's going to be apps. Click on uh, the uh, settings option here if you don't see the apps itself or app setting. You want to go to the app section at the left side. You want to go and click on installed apps. And in here, you want to look for iTunes. Now you can go and just manually search for it if you want, but you can go and just type in iTunes as well in here. You want to go and click on the tree dotted option here, and you want to go and choose the advanced options. Now in here, you should be able to see an option here that basically says reset. Now you can go and click on repair first. Now, and once repair is done, you can go open up uh, iTunes. Now if the repair doesn't work, you can go and click on reset. And from here, click on reset. Wait for a while here, and once it's finished, you can go and just open up uh, iTunes again and see if that solves the issue. Now, if none of this actually worked, the final and last thing that you could try doing here is to basically uninstall the app. Go and click on uninstall here on the same page and wait for a while. Now, go and just visit wherever you've downloaded the app. So, for example, you have this on, uh, if you downloaded Microsoft Store, go and just install this via this way and that's about it. So, for this video, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.